guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really, really fun video. I've been needing to do one of these forever, especially since I've seen them all over YouTube. And I finally, you know, took the time and got a list together because what we're going to do is actually go back and look at everything I bought in the last Sephora VIB sale. And I'm going to tell you whether I like the product, whether I kept the product, whether I ended up returning the product, all the scoop in this video. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, just keep watching. Also guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe down below by clicking the red subscribe button. That way you can keep up with all my new uploads. I always upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And right now I do have a giveaway going on on my channel. I will go ahead and link that video down below. Definitely go ahead and check that out and don't forget to enter the giveaway. If you are curious, I'm giving away a ColourPop X My Little Pony palette. So that should be super fun for you guys. Just to say thank you for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. I really, really appreciate you guys taking the time to do that. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay guys, I am beyond excited to film this video. Honestly, I just think it's such a good idea. It's such a fun way to go back and look at previous videos and especially hauls and talk about the products. Sometimes I feel like I'm buying so many new things that I'm forgetting to talk about my experiences with the old ones. And I review a lot of palettes, like face palettes, eye palettes and things like that. But some of the little things like skincare and stuff like that, things that take a long time to test out, I don't ever really go back and talk about in a full video. So. I thought it would be so fun, especially since it is the time of the VIB sale and the Rouge sale, to just go back to my last haul from the Rouge and VIB sale, which happened in April, and just talk about those products specifically. So if you're interested in seeing my haul video, I will link it up in the cards for you guys so you can watch that. And now, you know, almost five to six months later, you'll see what I actually thought of the products I bought now that I've had time to use it. Now this is going to be specifically related to that haul. I'm not going to talk about every product I've bought at Sephora since then. If you guys like this kind of video where I go back and talk about stuff I've hauled, definitely let me know down in the comments so I can go ahead and remember to, you know, come back and tell you guys my thoughts after I've used some of the products I've hauled. Anyway, so much jabbering, so let's get into it. This is my list. I bought 16 items from the VIB sale last time it happened. Usually it happens two times a year in April and in November. This year the sale starts on November the 3rd and then it goes on to like the 6th and then there's another sale that starts like the 12th through the 15th or something like that. I'm sure you guys, if you're eligible for the sale, you will get the little mailer or you'll get an email and all that stuff. So I'm gonna do more Sephora videos. I'm gonna do a recommendations video. I'm gonna go over my loves list with you guys. And I'm also gonna do what I picked up during the friends and family sale. My good friend Marissa, I used to work with her back in the day. She actually works at Sephora now and she did give me a friends and family code, which I am so grateful for, such a nice thing for her to do and so I did end up placing a really big order on sephora.com so I will have that video up soon as well if it's already up I will link it for you guys to check out so I'm really excited so okay I keep getting off topic so okay. the first product I did pick up from the VIB sale last year was the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Now, I actually picked up the biggest size, which was really crazy, and it's actually currently in my car because I am planning on returning that product. Now, I've given it as much time and effort as I possibly can, and honestly, I feel like I am not in a place in my life where I need that product. I've heard so many good things about Good Jeans, which is why I decided to try it, but I honestly feel like my skin can't handle it and I tried to use it like further apart and not use it every day blah 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 like I really tried to get it to work but I honestly felt like my skin was getting worse and I don't have super problematic skin but I felt like it really emphasized my pores and it was just like freaking me out and I was using it in combination with some other Sunday Riley products which we'll talk about next and I just feel like it was like 
too much for my skin. I know Stephanie Nicole really likes to use the good jeans and there's so many other people that I follow on YouTube that I know use good jeans. But two that come to mind is Stephanie Nicole and Nicole from Young Wild and Polished. And they're both a little bit more mature than I am. They both are a little bit older. So I think maybe once I cross over to my 30s, late 30s, early 40s, I think I might revisit good jeans. But right now I just don't feel like my skin needs all of that. And it was just making my skin worse. I feel like already my skin has gotten a lot better. I do get facials, you know, every month or every couple of months. And I think that's enough for me. And then with my current skincare routine, I'm really happy where I'm at. So it was 150 something dollars for this bottle. And I was like, you know, it's really not going to work for me. I just can't, you know, bring myself to keep it. And it's going to go bad. So I'm going to return it to Sephora. So yeah, the first product I did buy, I did return. The next product is the Juno oil. Now this is what the Sunday Riley Juno oil looks like. Sunday Riley, guys, is a pretty expensive brand, at least for me. I don't usually spend a ton of money on skincare, but this bottle of oil, I believe, is in like the $90 to $100 range, and you only get one fluid ounce, so you don't get a ton, but the good thing about face oils is you don't really need to use a ton of it. This was getting a little much for me in the summertime, but I really enjoyed wearing it in the colder months. So I'm excited to keep wearing it now that we are going into winter because I know my face is going to get really, really dry and my makeup goes on really great over this and basically it's an antioxidant plus a superfood. It says it's a hydroactive cellular face oil, gives obsession-worthy radiance, anti-aging benefits with antioxidant-rich superfood oil. So I'm really, really excited. On the back it says a botanically active blend of cold-pressed powerhouse superfood seed oil, essential oil free. Nourishes skin with critical antioxidants, vitamins, essential amino acids, omegas 3, 6, and 9, UV shields, and natural anti-inflammatory agents for a luminous radiant complexion. Vitamins A and C help brighten skin and increase collagen, while antioxidants protect from free radicals. Sinks in deeply, leaving skin hydrated, protected, and velvety soft. For an obsession worthy glow so I really like this I can wear this during the daytime underneath my makeup if I need that extra hydration I also like to wear it at night sometimes but yeah I really like this stuff so if you guys have dry skin I think I would definitely recommend it I'm not sure if you have normal skin if it's gonna be too oily for you I have pretty dry skin in the winter time so I'm super happy to have that in my collection now another thing I did pick up during the VIB sale was the aqua favorites fair aqua bomb by belief now I still have that set I basically bought it to like stock up once I ran out of this but this is always in my skincare routine this is the belief true aqua cream aqua bomb they have a moisture bomb and an aqua bomb this is what the aqua bomb looks like it's blue on the inside and it smells so fresh you guys this is a Korean skincare brand and I honestly have been using this for well over a year now it is a really nice hydrating skincare product and before I got the Juno oil this is what I would use all the time and I love it it's really lightweight I don't feel like it's gonna clog my pores or anything like that okay so on the back here it basically says that this is full of hydrating herbs refreshing gel cream provides weightless yet long-lasting hydration and I totally agree again this is really great under makeup really soaks into your skin really really nice and decently priced so you're not going to break the bank if you need that extra hydration other than that you can also check out the moisture balm it's very very creamy and i think it's going to be a little more hydrating than the aqua balm but i like both of them so i think you're in good hands either way next product i always stock up on are the Sephora foot masks. I talk about these guys all the time. They're like five bucks and honestly, I have really dry feet. I don't know why I think it's like chronic. I think it's it runs in my family, but I just like to have these on hand all the time because every once in a while, when I'm in between pedicures, I'll just put one of these on overnight to put the socks on and then I'll put on real socks and just fall asleep and I wake up with pretty moisturized hydrated feet i'm also really lazy so i'm not one of those people that like to put lotion on my feet every night even though i feel like i should these work really well so if you guys are interested i would totally recommend picking those up okay so the next item i picked up during the vib sale is the beauty blender solid there is a pro one that i picked up it's huge it's like 45 bucks i was gonna grab it but i forgot so i'll throw up a pincher up in the corner somewhere here 
I honestly really like using the Beauty Blender solids for cleaning my brushes. I use them all the time when I'm deep cleaning my brushes and it does a really good job of cleaning my brushes. Now, I used to use just like regular soap, dishwashing soap, all kinds of different soaps and I've never had a problem because I don't have sensitive skin but I kind of do like having the option of the Beauty Blender solid because I also use it on my makeup sponges and it's just really easy to have some kind of solid versus like a dish soap and also I do use the Cinema Secrets every once in a while but I was using that as a deep clean and I think that's more of a spot clean so I recommend that product if you're interested as far as a deep clean I like to use the Beauty Blender solid and I did pick up the pro size in my last VIB sale haul. I haven't even actually dipped into it yet because I have so many of the little ones that I've been stockpiling over the years. But when I do get the opportunity, I'm sure I'll be more than happy to whip that baby out and clean my brushes with it. So it's a really, really huge size. And if you guys are into using the Beauty Blender Solid, I would recommend going with the Pro because you get a lot of bang for your buck with that one. Something else I did pick up in my last haul is this Sephora Cake and Bake Sponge. And if you guys can see, this has not been used. Like it has, like I used it one time to like tap something on. But other than that, I really haven't spent time playing with this. And I guess because I like to put my bake on with a brush and I really haven't done any contouring or anything lately. I feel like that's what this would be really good for is like highlight and contour and like cream contour and cream highlighting but I haven't done any of that recently so I didn't really need to buy this but I'm gonna keep it in my collection because I've heard really really good things about it and I'm sure if using it I won't be able to stop so the next thing I picked up during the VIB sale last April was the YSL blur primer now that's the one that has the gold flex in it I'll throw up a picture that is also going to get returned to Sephora it is such an expensive primer I think it's what like 60 bucks or something like that and it really didn't make any difference on my skin so even though it is like a cult favorite super hype luxury product I just don't feel like I need it so I am taking that back to Sephora Next thing I've already returned is the Dior Forever Foundation. I was having a hard time with the color match on that and I really didn't feel like it stayed on very long or was worth the 60 something price tag. So I did return that. I really don't have much to say about it. A lot of YouTubers really love that foundation. But for me, it just didn't work out, so I would not recommend it to you guys at all. Next thing I do have is the Youth of the People Age Prevention Cleanser. And this has kale plus green tea, spinach, and vitamins. Now, you guys can see this bottle is definitely well-loved. It's like covered in water stains. I love the pump. This basically sits on the sink in our master bathroom, and I use it every morning as my cleanse. I haven't had any problems with this. I think it's very gentle. It does not strip my skin which I think is really nice in the morning, especially because it's so cold here. The last thing you want to do is exfoliate and your skin just feels extra dry and you're like about to go outside in like negative degree weather. So this is definitely something I would consider repurchasing. It does have a glass bottle though, so I would be very careful with this guy. I always worry that it's gonna like fall and shatter, so I like to keep it in one place and that's where it sits and I've gotten through quite a bit of it. So it makes me really, really excited when I see myself using products and this says it is made in California and is good for all skin types and you get eight ounces of product in here. Now this is a pretty fancy face wash because I think it has an almost 40 dollar price tag but I was really really curious to try out that brand it's more of an indie brand they don't really have a lot of products so I was interested to try them out and I think I'm gonna do that again this year with the VIB sale I really want to try out Herbivore maybe try out some more things from Youth of the People as well because I've just been having fun trying out different skincare lines the next thing I don't have to show you guys as well is the Urban Decay John Basquiat eyeshadow palettes I got both of them I will link my review video up in the cards I had so much fun with those palettes guys but I did end up taking them back because the neutral shade one was just so so neutral and I was like I'm never gonna use these shades I thought they were really good true to Urban Decay's formula and the packaging was immaculate being on YouTube all I do is play with eyeshadows and makeup so I just couldn't justify keeping it and then the really bright colored one I really 
couldn't justify keeping because I have the Urban Decay Electric palette and those neons are really, really bright and vibrant. So I decided to keep the Electric palette over the John Basquiat palette. But I know a lot of people that are really into his art that have those products. And honestly, I really enjoyed them. And I'm sure people that still have those products are enjoying them as well. Next thing I want to talk about is this Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner with Rose Fruit Extract removes impurities and softens and it's 8.4 fluid ounces. Now this is a very beautiful package product. It's very simple but there's rose petals here in the bottle if you guys can see that. This was a purchase I made based on a recommendation by Jeffree Star and it was sold out almost till the end of the sale last April so I was really nervous that I wasn't going to get it at a discounted price. In the last few days of the sale I did manage to grab this. This is a $40 toner you guys and as you can see I'm almost halfway through with it and even though it's a beautiful toner I just can't justify this price point again so once I use this up I won't be repurchasing this if you do have a lot of extra money to splurge on a toner you should definitely check this out because I think it is beautiful it's not very harsh it doesn't strip your skin I personally like to use the body shop toners I have quite a few of them and I can usually always pick them up on sale so even though this was a really, really fun thing to try out, I won't be repurchasing this product. Okay, so the next items I picked up during the sale last April were the Makeup Forever Tin Palettes. Now, I actually have one in my collection. I don't know why I didn't think to grab that. But I basically ended up returning the two new ones I got on sale because I actually ended up picking up this huge palette from Colored Rain. This is their large eyeshadow palette. like a Z. It's like a Z palette, basically. On the inside, there's a huge mirror, and this puppy holds 96 eyeshadows. So it holds more eyeshadows than like maybe three Makeup Forever tins and I just like how everything is in one place so I decided to use this instead and return those because they're like 14 bucks a piece so I did get some money back which was exciting to me but yeah I like the colored rain so I'm just glad to have everything in one place versus having like three or four Z palettes or Makeup Forever palettes. The next thing I bought during the sale last April were the Tweezerman eyelash curlers and this was based on a recommendation I believe by Ashani but, uh, from Total Makeup Junkie 101. That's the name of her channel and she was talking about how these really fit into her eye shape and so I was like well maybe I need to get them because I don't know what my eye shape is and honestly I don't really like this I think it's a little bit too big for my eye socket so I really don't enjoy using this I feel like it almost pinches my eyelids so this is definitely a regret I don't want to try and return this because I don't even know where the packaging is so I am going to keep it and maybe use it in like my makeup kit or something or when I can't find my Sephora eyelash curlers which are my favorite Favorite. I just grab for this and like make it work but honestly wish I had not purchased this product okay and then there is one more Sunday Riley product I did pick up in the April sale and it's the Luna oil this was another one where I was debating like if I have Juno do I need Luna they have about four or five different oils I honestly want to own them all but I don't think I need them all so the Luna oil basically does have retinol which is why it has this like darker packaging so it's not exposed to light and blue tansy and it's the sleeping night oil it says it's the next generation retinoid oil reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging so this one I can't wear every night I usually like to space it out because again retinoid and retinol if you put too much on it can really aggravate your skin so I like to pace myself some people can definitely build a tolerance to this and wear it every night but like I said this combined with the Sunday Riley good jeans was really wrecking havoc to my skin instead of reducing the appearance of pores I felt like I was finding new pores on my face so I was not a fan of those two combined on the back here it says works throughout the night to deliver visibly more youthful luminous even toned skin in the morning trans -ret -ret retinoic I don't know how to say the word acid ester complexes reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the visible signs of premature aging fine lines uneven textures age spots dryness and dullness balanced with blue tansy and german chamomile essential oils both rich in soothing blue azuline to neutralize visible redness and the signs of sensitivity advanced trans retinoid acid ester mixed with 
Potent Botanicals, the Ultimate Transformational Sleeping Night Oil. So this is what I like to put on at night. I think you can even mix these because this is just hydration and this blue tansy doesn't really hydrate me. So sometimes I like to put this on and then put on some of my Aqua Balm, but I really want to be careful not to put on too many things at night either because I don't want to like clog my pores and cause breakouts and all kinds of, you know, stuff that I don't even need to be a problem. Okay, the next thing I did pick up were some items from the Pretty Vulgar line. I will go ahead and link my review video up in the cards. Did not enjoy anything I purchased from that line. The eyeshadow palette was really, really lackluster, and so I did end up taking all of that stuff back. You can definitely see my full review and hear my thoughts in that video. And then the last thing I did pick up is the Hawkwind Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick. I really like this color. I had bought, I think I bought Sanctuary too. That one was too like grayish for me. So I decided to return that and keep this one. And I really like this color. I really like Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Formula. I would definitely recommend picking up colors that you like from this formula because I have no problem wearing this. It's absolutely comfortable and Kat Von D is like vegan and cruelty free and all that jazz and she has a really large range of colors in her lineup. So I really like this shade. I really like her nudes. I think they're very suitable for my skin tone. So if you're interested, definitely check out Hawkwind by Kat Von D. Actually, let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys since you might be interested in seeing it. And I'm also realizing it's like the only makeup product I actually kept from my haul from last April. So as you can see, it's a really, really beautiful color. Okay guys, so that is everything I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale last April. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. And like I said in the intro, if you do enjoy videos like this, definitely let me know down in the comments because I can definitely go back and check out some of my other Sephora hauls or maybe some of my Ulta hauls or any makeup hauls in general and talk about those products. If you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on those products, also, like I had mentioned, there is a giveaway live and active on my channel. So go ahead and check the description box so you can enter that giveaway as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and happy shopping during the VIB sale. Feel free to leave me comments down below on products you are considering picking up or products that you think I should check out. I'm always open to hearing your input. So thank you so much and have a good day. Bye.